So what could you do with a bunch of little squares? Today, we're going to look at one really, this truly is a scrap card idea, is we're going to look at one really, really fun way to use up your squares. And we're going to talk about a whole squares magic class. You could fly away. Coming up. You could fly you could away. Fly away. I'll fly away. Where should we go? So that is coming up. But of course, first, we've got mail. We love to share a little, mail. We've got a little um, mail. You just guys, a little bit. Just, just a little at the moment, we have from Cindy Autumn for my mom. We love getting cards from my mom, and she's doing so well. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, that is a beautiful card. That is. Oh, on the inside, doing the extra. And I just think this is so sweet. My mom just loves that. I have these friends all over that feel like they know her too. You know, it's such a fun thing to talk about. Look at all those beautiful things coming out. Put that aside and take it out to her. And then from Kathy Ost, who is the, the note sender of all times. Oh, uh, uh, thank you for something. I gave her a little gift. So I said, she is the real card sender. She is my first host ever. We still do a party together every year. So that goes back like 26, 27 years now, a long time ago. And she is the card center of senders. Cindy's a really good card center too. So is um, Amanda in our group. We have some people that are known for that. Um, I just think that is really wonderful. Tara Wolf from Iowa. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a stamp set that is retiring. That is too bad because that's beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I love what she did on the inside. And I also want to point out, do you see she's got white on white, so it is a layered card. You can have the layer, but what a gorgeous card to just plain do in white. If you want a simple, non-layered card, that is stunning with the words there. Open it up again. And she did the inside too. Galveston, Texas. There we go. I know I should have brought that stamp set along there. I always think of these things. That's so fun. And then we have again for my mom from Vesta Street, who was another amazing card center from Colorado. Enjoy all the little moments. That is so sweet. Oh, and just a lovely spring card. So that is just really fun. Okay. And next, um, I have a couple of announcements. So this is really fun. Last week, if you remember, I shared that Lee Scheifler sent us, she sent, got ordered two of these by mistake. This is a current. And she said, thanks for finding me a good home. Instead of returning them, she sent them to me to give. These are the nested essential dyes. They're absolutely gorgeous. And she said she to give it to um, one of the people in our group that watch our videos. So this is was our giveaway. Um, and whenever I do giveaways, I do them sporadically. I usually give away retired sets that I have. And sometimes you guys send me things, which is, I just, a heartfelt thanks to that. This is an amazing That's gift. That's not retired? No. And I'm glad because I use it all the time. And this is going to Joyce Mahanis. So Joyce, message me your email and do that. And while we're on that, we're going to do another giveaway. This is from a while ago, Trish Sperlin, and I put it on my desk and it got buried, or my table here, and it got buried. She sent, because now you can see how long ago this came, but I wanted to show this card too. Isn't this gorgeous with that barn? Oh, that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And she said to send this to somebody in the community too. Uh, some beautiful cards up using this. This is a gorgeous stencil set with abundant beauty. So how cool is that? This is going to be the giveaway for this week. And it's going to go to somebody from Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, um, th this, it is Abundant Beauty, and those are snowflakes, but the others are not snowflakes. Oh, they're not. And you know, it's more fun to make snowy cards in the summer when it's a long time oh. away. Or or if you live in the South and you want to send a card and say, I'm glad I don't deal with this, you know. But this year we didn't deal with it either. But such a big thank you there, Karen too. Can Where is the finger and always make it fit so thank you to trish that is wonderful it is so fun when you guys do this okay so what is this now this is the, the giveaway That's now for, for this week okay and i'm gonna put it back up on me for a moment just to say that we also have some giveaways going over on my blog I, there is a we did the fine line swap and you have until tomorrow, till the end of tomorrow, to go vote on your favorite. And uh, Monday night, I'm going to show the winning cards, but I'm also going to announce three names that are drawn from my website that voted. It, so not the people that won. That you know, they, they get the accolades because they get all the nice, sweet expressions. But um, 
three of you will get a little gift in the mail. So it's just fun when we do things like that. I just love promoting my team and letting you know what they're up, all up to. So that is really fun. Speaking of, do I have anything else? Um, uh, project shares are also up. So if you want paper shares, ribbon shares, all kinds of shares, they're up in my thing. They're available. And speaking of team members, I'm just going to mention All Good Cards Club is already next Tuesday. We meet once a month for three times. I'm not ready. <laughs> and I just can't. It, it really tells me, you know, anything you have that's once a month makes you realize how quickly the months go by. <laughs> but um my team members all join everything I do online for free. I just like to put that announcement out and I'm just doing what I can to help promote them because we just have this amazing community as we do also with all of you back porch stampers and all of you people that watch us. So we just love it. So what we're doing, so I'm going to be explaining. So today's card is a little lead in. I like to do a little lead in to the next thing that we're doing. So that is where this card com comes from. This is one of many cards that we will be doing. Oh, and by the way, if you need the catalog, I have a thing on my website too, uh, free catalogs. But please, that is only if you do not currently have a demonstrator, because if you do, get it from them. And this is telling me that you would be interested in purchasing from me. So I do appreciate that, that I would be your demonstrator and I would love to send it to you totally, totally free. Uh, okay, Sharon has her squares cut out. So I wanna do this class. So here's how I'm learning to narrow things down. I started with all kinds of squares, <laughs> all different sizes, small. I was still going to do mini squares. Then I simplified it. I kept simplifying and simplifying. And I could have simplified even more because there are so many ideas. So one of the things that I'm wanting to do with All Good Cards Club and with this is just teach more how we end up making designs. So you have to go back a minute. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. It's like, yes, it is. So, yes. so, so if she, no, she just thought that if she simplified it anymore, she would think <laughs> that I designed it. So I want to tell you what the difference is between today's class and Tuesday. Today I am doing cards that I already have my things. I'm making these cards. This is what I'm bringing on Tuesday because we all create together. And this is what I'm suggesting people do. I have a muffin tin or they could be bags and I'm going to be putting in several. These are all from one group of papers. So I've just started doing some one inch squares. Now you can use a punch if you have one. That's a whole lot easier. Or you can cut by hand, whatever you want to do. So if you come to our house and I make blueberry muffins, some of you are going to get paper. <laughs> That's right. In the we'll do something. So these are my raw materials. So what I'm doing in classes now is I'm creating along with you, something different. So I'm using the same design, but just like you're doing at home. So we're kind of changing it up a bit so we can just talk more about design because we already have these in the in the PDF. This way we'll add some other things. Did you say that they're one-inch squares? What are They're one-inch squares. It makes it easy. And this is using, let's see, find my spots here. Um, all my things are getting mixed up here. Surprise, surprise. Let me see if I have enough of them. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll move on to the next card. It's totally, it's totally good. <laughs> we are. Uh... <laughs> oh, and, and by the way, since I'm unpacking things, this is one of the adorable cards in the card kit this month. When you place an order through my online store, you get to make Most that. Adorable. Okay. I need two more from this, or I'm going to be short something else. Let me okay. see. Oh, I don't need to worry about it because look, I have a whole bunch in my muffin tin. Look at speaking of that. Okay, so we're gonna pretend like this. Now, what's really cool about this? Yeah, blueberry muffins sound good. Somebody's saying so. That's great. Tim loves serving us. Those of you who have met us when we travel know that he loves to just get up and be serving everyone and doing everything. Now, often when we look at squares, so this would make a really lovely quilt pattern. Of course, we would see that immediately. Um, I can go down four. So let's just say I was doing that. So this is a basic card. Um, and, I, you know, I think it's just fun to play with ideas. So this is a quilt technique. I'm calling this technique that we're doing today. Do you see how this would make a quilt? And it could be anything. These are all sort of things. We are going to, I'm calling this technique omitting because we're, we're going to omit two squares here. This is going to give us room for a sentiment. And then we're going to do these four here. 
So we mm -hmm. could take this idea many other ways and decide to omit others. And so that's the kind of stuff we play with. But I thought, is that a cool way to look at this? So if you're looking at this, you're going to imagine it going this way. Now, this is a little too much sameness in here. So let's get a little, um, let's get a little other versions in here. We're going to put this in here. Okay. And we don't want two of those. So we'll do, oh, let's do one of these. Is that, I think that's all right. Okay. That'll be all right. Okay. That, uh, I'm going to put these away. Was that a hypothetical question? Or well, do, or do you, you want me to answer? You that? can answer and then you can see if I change my mind or not. If you no. say, oh, no, I don't like this no, one. That's good. That's good. Um, <laughs> now, if you have a punch that's like a little bigger, a little less, you can do the same things. You just might have to change the size of your paper a little. But that's totally cool. It's, you know, we these are ideas that we run with. Now, I, I think it's fun that you fact the fact that you were searching all over your table here for little squares. <laughs> I know. And you had just I, introduced the whole muffin tin. <laughs> the muffin tin. And it's like, oh, yeah. The reason I'm using a muffin tin is because I'm doing them by um, the designer series paper. You, you also wouldn't need to. It could be, I could pull from all of them and just, you, they could just be from your scrap box. So you could do it by colors. You could do it by however you want. But then I thought for each card I make, I'll just pick one of these sets and bring out. And what, so, what, what Karen said was, aha, I do have extras. <laughs> so for the supplies for that class, it's going to be a bunch of squares. And then I'll just tell you, like, we'll do the base card and then we'll kind of, I'll do our own. But anyway, and this is only one of the cards. So this is a sneak peek. So. Anyway, I just wanted to show kind of how we have fun doing this because we so, so like to take an idea and run with it. We're going to tape all those down. Yes. Yeah, so to tape this down, this next piece. I'm not going to do this because this is hard. I will, I will tape it down and then I will let you complete something. Because it is hard to get them even. You know, now we talk about going quarter inches down. You're going to see this is a half inch down. So that would be two quarters, which is fine. And then not another half inch down. So I'm just staying proportionate. So my base card, when it's folded, and it could be folded either way, is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this next piece is five by three and three eighths. And then this one would be, um, go down half inch. <laughs> three, it would be three and a quarter. Okay. <laughs> Someone has to tell me, maybe I do need my, we found so many rulers. Tim was, um, we were putting up something and we had to pull these cords out. Luann was helping us with this new set for TV. We have a new TV. TiVo. <laughs> and we found like works. four rulers underneath. <laughs> so have you been missing any rulers? Go get one. <laughs> Actually, I have this one, totally fine. I just have to remember how to go quarter down. You know, what? I'm going to do it afterwards because I'm going to lose where these are. So when I'm putting these together, I am eyeballing. And you do know that you can also just choose to do anything cattywampus. Um, I should be bold and do that, but no, I'm going to wait on that. This is how I do it. So I'm going to show you. I'm just looking at this edge and I'm going to, I'm going to go up a little because it's kind of where they're going to meet. I'm kind of just lining up this edge and then I'm going to take this one. I like to start with anything on the outside first. And I'm going to put that in. I'm just letting that go down a little. And then I will do another one here. And I'm not pressing real hard because if I need to adjust it a little, I will be able to. So you see, I'm going to do one here. Put this out right now. And by putting these out here, let's see, does that look like it's going to, yep, that looks pretty good to me by my eye. I could, now, if you want to be exact, you could take a really light pencil. You know, you could make all these little now, you're, tooth marks. You're going to do that. Yep. I'm going to do that one. And then the middle. And then I always will squeeze the middle one in last. Now, if for some reason there wasn't room for my middle one. Cut it down. I could cut it down or I could pop it up and let it overlap. And you see, Ooh. I could also make it cattywampus. So you could do anything you want, but I'm looking at all these. Okay, Tim, you can pound it. How about that? Because that worked. Ooh. <laughs> so we are blasting that stash of paper so you're ready for more. That's why we have paper shares, right? And then I'm going to put this on here. And I did pre-select these. And I'll put this on. And then, oh, I forgot to put words on this one. I did. I'll add the words afterwards. We're going to do celebrate. But I wanted to show, I love this paper. This paper is retiring. 
look at here are three different options. Mm -hmm. So here's another one. There are all kinds of options, but I still have some fussy cut. Mm -hmm. And you're going to pick which one we want mm -hmm. to put on this one. Mm -hmm. Or we could even nope. do two, or we could do that. Foxy. Okay, I'm going to put Foxy on. But you can see right there how you could have all these figures. You could make a whole bunch of cards like this out of this paper, and you'd have all these cards ready. And they didn't, wouldn't all need to be birthday. They could be kind of whatever. <laughs> Dude. Dude. I can't, can't talk. Dude. But other than that. Okay, you're going to put that on. <laughs> I thought he was that I cool. Don't do don't, it this way. <laughs> so I even think a collection of cards like this with different animals would be fun as a little gift. But just I, So I just think this is just such a cool idea. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside. And then, of course, we just add some gems. So the finished one we totally put aside to show at the ends because we're not adding the gems right here. Um, and then let's do another one. Now on this one. Just like the other one. Oh, this time I will measure this for sure. It is a half inch down. <laughs> I just forgot that I was going to um, put that up. But, you know, they're all on the website. And there is a project sheet. So it is three and a quarter. It's, that's what I was thinking. But three and a quarter by four and a half. Okay. Yes. I, I need you to do better about when we put that down. But you can remember to just go with this one, which is five by three and three quarters, and then cut a half inch off on the side and the side, and, and you have it. So, and the reason I'm doing this, so when I first figured out this pattern, I had a larger piece. I had a piece like this. So I thought I knew it wanted, I'd want it to be like this size or smaller. So I started laying out my pieces. Um, let's see. And to see how this would work too, I would space them more. But because I had this much in spacing, I decided to go smaller because then I could just have a double. But do you see how you have freedom to do whatever you want with this? So if your squares are a little bigger, you might want to use this and you would still be able to put one more layer under here. So, so what are you saying? You're going to put it on this? Yes, I'm going to put it on this because I did this first when I was just measuring. Yep. And then I thought, no, that's how I figured out the size paper that I wanted. Right. And now to get them done, like, and I just forgot to do this on the other, I went ahead and put the word into. So let's see, I'm going to do a couple of the corners just like I did before. I know Tim, hey, should we try one cattywampus? I don't know if it will work or not. Because I, I said we could try one. Should we try one? Or should I just stay safe? Should I play it safe? I think play it safe. Okay. Because I thought you were going to put it on here. Oh, I am. <laughs> So I'm not playing it safe at all. <laughs> oh, Tim, this is where I need you. <laughs> That's the only I way. I need you more and more. Okay. Yes. I'm going to put these two up on the ends. Let's count the ways. <laughs> Who made your breakfast for you this morning? Oh, I did. I need you for that, too. And I... It was a wonderful breakfast. It's always wonderful. Who made your breakfast for you? And you said, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, you did. I did. Oh, you did. Yes, you did. Uh, and and there... <laughs> If I made my breakfast, You'd still be it would, hungry. it'd be cold cereal. <laughs> yes, and milk that's too old. Okay, look at that. Okay, so I'm just putting these on just light enough in case I want to. Karen has this idea that a thing of milk goes bad <laughs> bad in one day. No, no, but I, I drink about. milk with cereal, which means very seldom. And so it often goes back before I have it from one time to the next. And you can't buy any smaller quantities. So, so okay, so, okay. So look how quick that was to put together. So if I were doing a bunch of these, I would put all of these out. Oh, oh, except I'd use the right color for my paper. And I just make a bunch of them and make them all different because you don't have to um, plan each one necessarily. It's just, they're all going to just look good. And um, okay. <laughs> Faye says the fox is cute. She misspelled turtle. <laughs> I saw that there. Are you going to make, are you going to use this as the back backside? Yes. Yeah. Do you think that would be a good idea? I think a good idea. Unless I can see if this covers it and we'll decide, nope, I better do it that I, way. You're I right. I think you should. See, very good point. Very good point. 
So if you like, this is <laughs> those of you who are in the All Good Cards Club, make a comment <laughs> if you if you feel like it about the fun we have because this is kind of what we do. And I just think I love saying we are all more creative together than we are separately. And that's why I love taking an idea like this and then we do more things with it. And then we go to another idea. So how cool is this? Okay, I'm gonna let you put this on. Karen actually does as many funny things without me. <laughs> you know, I'm not the reason she's doing funny things. No, no, you can't blame it all on me. Okay, no. but isn't that pretty? I just think that is just a lovely card. Now I think this one, and if you'll Ooh. notice now this one, I guess I don't have those up Oh there. man, I like the placing of that. Isn't that great? But how great is that? And do you see these are flowers and papers from the same set, they're from the zany, the flowering zinnias, but they look different because we picked from those, and these are fussy cut right out of the paper, but we just picked colors from those for the base card, so they're still going to look different. Yep. Um, Sharon says, All Good Cards Club is super fun. So th thanks. I love it. So you can see where we're going to just take all these squares and do all kinds of different things with them over three sessions. And then everyone shares their cards like we do in the backboard stampers. But I love how this is very like fancy and this is very cutesy, mm -hmm. you know, and it's the same. Okay, we'll do another one. Like this one. time we're going to do, you know, I love papers that you can fussy cut. So this is, again, from that. And I have my little thanks so much. Why don't you arrange the squares on here? What Gordon Lightfoot song does this remind you of? Oh, I, I guess Tim's talking music. We better let him uh, focus. I'm on, uh, I'm on. On my second cup of coffee, or is it? Yes, and I still can't face the day. Oh. Thinking about the girl that yet lost along the way. Okay. Well, I went ahead and did this because, you know, Tim has trouble concentrating when he's <laughs> thinking music here. Okay. okay, does that look okay? It's straight enough. And it's you see, right. I'm on there, but I, I'm i not caring about them being straight oh, yet. I love that put this up. Cup. Isn't that, that, that is so that's cute? Great. And this looks like coffee stains. Yeah, that's what they are. And this oh. too. You see this too? And the little coffee cups are kind of put yeah. on the corner there to kind of accent. And there's the coffee beans. Yeah. Oh, I like this. So really, really fun paper. No kidding. For, uh, coffee. Coffee drinkers. Of which we all know, it doesn't matter if you are one, you know you have friends that are. So it's fun to make cards for them. And I know a lot of us give, ooh, which one should I use? This one with a, there's another coffee block. Mm. Maybe I'll do that one. No, yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, I just think the colors in here are just so fun. But, you know, we often do little coffee gift cards and things like that too as thank yous. I mean, just in general, people do whether it's for teacher thank yous or little birthdays. So coffee paper is so fun to work with. And we end with the last because we try to make it. Oh, now look at this. That is not very lined up. So I'm going to look at this and see which one to pull down. I'm going to pull this one up because it's not straight. <laughs> That's a good reason. And now suddenly it works much better. Oh, look at this. This is going to be a little. Okay. So now I have two choices. <laughs> But this is good. I was kind of doing this quickly. I'm going to move this over a little because I need a little more space. You know, what's interesting is that this is happening in my third one. Usually this happens on like your first one and then you get it figured out and you do them right. <laughs> you don't want to just cut that down. That would be well, bad. I could cut it down, but I'm going to swing this one out a little too. See, I'm, I'm just maneuvering because we can, this is all called playing with paper. And I, uh, I think it is such a good description for what we do. It's just paper. We can always get more, and it's just fun to play with. Okay, I have a, now I have a little space in there. That'll do. I will have you put this on. Just speaking of coffee drinkers, our friend Kathy, who's on this a lot, her kids are half and half coffee drinkers and non-coffee drinkers. And I was just thinking that all of our kids are coffee drinkers. Yeah, they all are. But they didn't have a choice. Because <laughs> I work for Starbucks. So. And I actually drink, you drink some tea. I drink a lot of tea. I drink yeah, but, as much tea as I do coffee probably. But look again, just how cute. Now this isn't totally straight. You'll see I messed with this one. So I can mess with it some well, more. This I'm going to because it bugs me. But I also want to point out, you don't need to. I really, okay, 
in Algo Cars Club, we're going to try Caddy and Wampus one because I won't care if they don't turn out here. <laughs> no. Now you know what that. But they don't need to be perfect. Is which there is really anything fine. that mm -hmm. could be a, a stain underneath the cup, or that, would, uh, that wouldn't work? We'd have to stamp, or we could get a marker. But that would be a good idea to do yeah. something like that. Yes, and there are all kinds of different cutouts from this, but I didn't bring them out to play with today. But I think. Um, Pat says she has a lot of coffee shops in a small town and she gives lots of gift cards. Oh, we love giving gift cards to um, independent coffee shops if we know people in the area because we just love supporting them. How cool is that? Oh, I, I can't believe how short today's session is going to be because uh, then you can just see we added, we added this. So now I have two more, two more cards. This airplane set is wonderful and the papers again. So this is one of the stamps in there. So it's just stamped and you can see it's got a little coloring in a little bit of that copper clay. That's just done with a blending pen, just going right over the, uh, the part. So it gives it a real pale color. But is this great? You're the best, plain and simple. And then for dog cards. Yeah, this does remind me of paper dolls and all that. So I said, uh, um, and I love this one too. I think, you know, people are always asking for pet, for pet sympathy cards or for congrats on your new pet, um, for anything. And this new kind of wood looking, I just thought these colors were just so pretty. So this is from the Pets and More, just stamped in black on crumb cake and cut out. That is so so cool. how easy. And then I put down here, holding your close in my heart. I thought that could work for several things. And you're going to see this has a white piece of paper on it. That's because I just stamped after I put the card together, just like I'm planning to do with the one today. And I smeared the stamp, but I'd already put all this on. So I just put another piece of paper, cut it out and put it on top. And now it's part of the design element. So is that great? So we can just always do that. This set has a cat in it too. But it's then, underneath and it got smeared. Yeah. So we put yes. a dog over top. Um, but I thought, I just think for so for any of you who work with um, pets and then what else is in there a, a bunny I, I don't remember but it's really really a cute set so all of these I think have very different looks to them but they're all the same technique of omitting and now we could take the same thing and we could omit different parts so um, you will see all of the things that we're going to be doing because Karen doesn't know when to quit. <laughs> Not all good cards I'm doing. So this is a taste of what we do. I just love these. Kathy said she'd do these in mass quantities. I would too. This is a perfect thing to do in mass quantities and figure it out. And it's just another delightful, just a delightful look that still looks a little different. And it looks a little like planning. Like you'd first look and think, oh, how did you get them all in those ways. I have to go down, then over and down. But when you map it out and visualize it as a quilt and then take off what you want, it makes it really easy to work with. So thanks, you guys. Thanks to all of you who share my videos, who comment. We It just all makes such a difference. So I have a question. Yeah. Do you have a face? Have you ever done a square, put the things around the square and then put a like an animal or something in the middle or Aha, uh -huh. he hasn't seen the cards we're doing for Tuesday. That was not a plant, folks. <laughs> he hasn't well, seen the cards, but that sounds like a great idea, don't you guys think? So just wait. <laughs> I am not a plant. I love it. So I'm not. I it's not a plant. I don't remember enough. To <laughs> he be couldn't a plant. be one if I tried, but anyway. What yes, was I supposed to say again? Let's be doing that on Tuesday. Um, so anyway, we're going to have fun. great fun. And this is the weekly challenge over in the backport stampers. You know, every week there's a challenge. Oh, you're just going to use this layout. <laughs> And do your own thing. It doesn't need to be stamping up anything. These could, you know, these could be solid colors too. And then you have a whole different look. So you can be creative. Um, it, we're just going for this design and then seeing from there what we can do with it. If Karen <laughs> cued me on, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you at a certain time that this is where you add that little thing. I wouldn't remember what He'd it was. He'd add a story that had nothing to do with that, but it would have something to do with music. Thanks, you guys. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend. I'm going to see Holly this weekend, and our daughter from Duluth is coming down. So we're going to have a lovely, and we have lovely weather to boot. So thanks, you guys, for um, spending this time with us. We totally appreciate it. And I'll be around. Let me know if and, you have any questions. And our grand dog, Kingsley, yes. is coming down. Okay. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.